Beginning in spring 2021 and continuing into the 2022 construction season, MDOT will undertake a major reconstruction of 1.1 miles of US-41 in Houghton. This presentation will outline what's planned and how interested stakeholders can provide input and feedback on the project. The project involves reconstructing US-41 from McInnes Drive to Isle Royal Street, including a section that runs through the campus of Michigan Technological University. MDOT and the City of Houghton will be investing an estimated $9 million from a variety of state and federal sources in this project. The work will include converting the four-lane boulevard section to two lanes with designated turn lanes at major intersections, widening College Avenue to add a center left turn lane, storm sewer improvements, city sanitary sewer and water main replacements using a combination of USDA grants and loans with city funds. Long-term benefits include improvements to vehicle and pedestrian safety and operations. The project is currently in the design phase. Work is expected to be completed in fall 2022. Several project milestones have already been achieved. This virtual meeting is designed to provide the public with up-to-date information as the design phase nears completion. Why is MDOT doing this work? Pavement in the project area is well past its planned service life and in need of replacement. Changes in the roadway width and lane assignments based on current use, vehicle counts, and traffic projections will help prepare the highway for the future. This project will include several lane reconfigurations on different segments of highway. The current four-lane boulevard section will be converted to two lanes with designated turn lanes at major intersections. College Avenue will be widened to add a center left turn lane. Here are some details of the planned lane configurations in three main segments of the project. On the east end of Montezuma Avenue, lanes will be reduced from three lanes to two. The infrequently used ramp to Ruby Street will be removed. Maintaining only two lanes in this area will eliminate the need for southbound traffic to make unnecessary lane changes. The short three-lane section at the east end of Montezuma Avenue will be reduced to two lanes, which matches the rest of Montezuma Avenue. This will eliminate unnecessary lane changes caused by the right lane ending as Montezuma Avenue transitions to College Avenue. On this section of College Avenue, the roadway will be increased to three lanes from the current two lanes with the addition of a center left turn lane. The addition of the center left turn lane on College Avenue will provide refuge for left turning vehicles and will reduce rear end crashes. The picture on the left shows College Avenue today. The picture on the right is an example of a similar street with a center left turn lane. Townsend Drive will be reduced from four lanes to two with turn lanes where appropriate, which will match the configuration east of McInnes Drive. The intersection at McInnes Drive will be reconstructed. Crossovers will be placed to provide indirect left turns for some of the side streets along Townsend Drive to improve safety. Reducing the lanes to one in each direction will eliminate unnecessary lane changes and result in a shorter distance and fewer lanes of traffic for pedestrians to cross. Properly placed left turn lanes will provide refuge for left turning vehicles. The picture on the left is the current Townsend Drive near Houghton Avenue. The picture on the right is Townsend Avenue on the east end of campus with the configuration that will be continued west through campus to College Avenue with this project. The existing four-lane configuration, shown here near McInnes Drive, will be reduced to one lane in each direction. Southbound traffic will have dedicated right and left turn lanes at McInnes Drive. This new configuration will eliminate unnecessary lane changes and passing in this corridor that has a high number of pedestrians crossing US-41 Townsend Drive. Why is MDOT planning to reduce the lanes of traffic in some areas of the project? First and foremost, the projected traffic volumes simply don't require the current number of lanes. The lane reductions are expected to improve efficiency and safety while saving taxpayer dollars. Removing unnecessary lanes can promote smoother, more efficient traffic flow. It can also boost safety at pedestrian crossings. Pedestrians have fewer lanes of traffic to cross, and having one through lane will calm traffic and eliminate passing in this high pedestrian area. Adding dedicated left turn lanes reduces the risk for rear end crashes, resulting from higher speed passing vehicles striking a vehicle stopped waiting to turn. Reducing the lanes means MDOT is building and maintaining only what is needed for this stretch of roadway, saving money in the long term. 
Here are some other major aspects of the project. Several elements of the project are designed to improve pedestrian access in the corridor. Eliminating a traffic lane on Montezuma Avenue provides space for new concrete sidewalks between Portage Street and Franklin Street. A new crosswalk at the west end of College Avenue will allow pedestrians to cross one direction of traffic at a time by using the island for refuge. Reducing the number of traffic lanes on Townsend Drive provides more space for snow storage in the winter on the south side between Pearl Street and Houghton Avenue, allowing for easier winter maintenance. Marked pedestrian crosswalks will be placed at high volume entrances to the MTU campus. Median refuges will further increase safety. One design challenge for the project was minimizing or avoiding impacts on the many historic features along the corridor. A historic rock wall will be avoided by replacing the concrete wall in front with a landscape block wall and steps. The new wall is necessary for the wider roadway in this location. Light standards will be salvaged and placed on new pedestals to accommodate roadway widening. Small right-of-way purchases were needed to replace sidewalks and lighting. These require a thorough review if the property is considered historic. Before acquiring public right-of-way from any historic properties, MDOT and the State Historic Preservation Office work together to obtain federal approval that no adverse impacts on the property will occur. Here are two locations where properties noted as having potential historic significance require a small purchase of property for the project. In conjunction with the project, the City of Houghton will undertake major water and sanitary sewer upgrades. Coordination of roadway and utility work is crucial. It ensures an aging system won't fail beneath new pavement and the city won't be responsible for the cost of replacing pavement and sidewalks. Much of the $2.5 million in funding came through the United States Department of Agriculture Rural Development. Sewer work was 75% grant funded with a 25% loan. Water work was funded by a 100% loan. The existing clay sanitary mains along College Avenue are roughly 100 years old. Existing water main along College Avenue was installed around the mid-1960s with some of the water lines through the MTU campus older than that. Work will include new storm sewer, catch basins, and manholes. The proposed storm system includes 64 additional drainage structures that will reduce ponding on the road and improve safety during wet weather. Upsizing the storm mains will provide greater capacity to handle large storm events, decreasing the risk of flooding to adjacent properties. New four-foot catch basin sumps will improve roadway pollutant capture, reducing pollutant loads to receiving waters. Maintaining traffic through the duration of the project will involve detours and lane shifts during some stages. The first task of the 2021 season will be preparing for traffic during Stage 2, including temporary pavement to construct crossovers to move traffic from one side of the existing boulevard to the other. Pavement markings, channelizing devices, and temporary signing will be added prior to shifting two-way traffic onto the southbound roadway. Stage 2 construction will begin in late spring to build the northbound roadway. Some backups and delays are expected. Mitigation strategies such as restricting turns and traffic signal timing adjustments will be put in place to minimize these delays where possible. Once the new northbound roadway is constructed, northbound traffic will be detoured onto Cliff Drive. This was used as a detour by MDOT approximately 10 years ago when the section east of McInnes Drive was reconstructed. Southbound US 41 traffic will shift onto the new northbound roadway. McInnes Drive will be constructed part width with a detour for right turn movements during those stages. Detouring traffic will reduce the need for temporary pavement and provide reduced construction delays, which increases the overall safety of the work zone. In 2022, the project will continue with reconstruction of College Avenue, Montezuma Avenue, and Franklin Square. Southbound US 41 will be detoured for most of the 2022 construction season. The detour route will begin on southbound M26 at the Portage Lake Lift Bridge to Sharon Avenue and ending at McInnes Drive. Local traffic will be maintained at all times along Montezuma Avenue to Sheldon Avenue. 
Temporary traffic signals will be installed at Military Road and Portage Street to replace the existing four-way stops and ensure smoother traffic flow. The construction of College Avenue and McInnes Drive will be done over several stages and substages in 2022, beginning in the spring. Stage 1 will be temporary widening and preparation for the following stages. Stage 2 on College Avenue will involve constructing the south half of the roadway, including the underground storm, sanitary, and water main. Stage 3 on College Avenue will involve constructing the north half of the roadway, including the underground storm, sanitary, and water main. The Montezuma Avenue, Sheldon Avenue, and Franklin Square crossover lanes will be constructed in several stages. One lane will be open at all times using temporary pavement surfaces during some periods. All Montezuma Avenue traffic will be routed back to Sheldon Avenue at Franklin Square. We hope this presentation has provided a good introduction to the planned 2021-22 US-41 Houghton project. MDOT can provide more information on request and we'd appreciate your feedback on our reconstruction plans. If you'd like more information, contact us via email at houghton2021 at michigan.gov. Follow the links in the video description below to visit the project website or register your feedback through an online form. Thanks for taking the time to get the details on this major upcoming project.